How's it going everybody? This is Sanak here back for another episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. And in the last episode, we got here to the regular version of Orden Village while we uh, obtained our sword and shield. And we were instructed by the guardian of this spring to, to rescue his brothers who basically have been consumed by the twilight. And we can just need to head back in there as Midna also instructed us. So let's just go ahead and run back as the hero would do. <laughs> hey, look. The Farron Woods you know so well, they're now covered in twilight. You might not be able to come back here, but do you still want to go? <sighs> and here becomes a trend. I don't know why we can't just walk through. We get yanked into the twilight. So welcome to the twilight version of Farron Woods. So this is going to be kind of the staple in the game where you're going to see familiar areas. Um, well, not familiar, but you're going to see areas covered in twilight. And you need to help them, basically. Huh. So these are the weapons you use in your world? You really think this can slay the creatures of Twilight? <sighs> well, I won't use these, but I'll hang on to them for you. Alright, a promise is a promise. I trust you enough to help. In exchange for my help, though, I need you to gather some things for me. Look, I can't tell you all the details now, but it'll be easy. Trust me. Uh, but enough about that. Do you hear that noise? It's the lamentation of the spirit that had its life stolen. Where in the world could it be? <laughs> uh, better get moving, don't you think? Don't blame me for your world's fate if you don't hurry up and find that light. Come on, snap to it. Uh, so bossy, but I still love her. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you're gonna see why Midna becomes a lot of, uh, becomes my one of my favorite characters in the entire Zelda series. So, and it looks like we kind of got penned in a bit. Um, it's gonna be kind of familiar from like the spring, as you saw in the, the previous episode. But instead of one, we have three. Ooh. Okay, so this is gonna be a little different compared to the first time we fought this guy. Uh, yeah, so you're gonna see how it changes up now that there's more of them. Oh, we're penned in again. Pfft, who do they think they're dealing with? No need to think. No need to take these little pests one at a time, right? You can take them all at once. So you can handle this by yourself, can't you? Good luck. Bye. Okay, so basically they're gonna kind of gang up on you a little bit. Um, you can do this like jump attack to kind of, oh crap. So yeah, you want to be very careful though because they can attack you off one of their buddies. So it's just kind of good to get away from them as the as, as you can see the other one got kind of distracted. So that's kind of a good strategy there. And here's what's different. They will revive the other two creatures are their friends if we leave only one standing so this is going to be a little uh difficult here so <laughs> that's one thing we need to watch out for uh, what's the hold up if you leave the last one alive it's going to bring back it's going to use that shriek to bring the others back listen let me help you out here just move like i tell you just you just hold down b and expand the energy field so i can close all the enemies and release it so yes let's go ahead and do what she says just like that. So that's going to be the interesting thing about the spin attack, quote unquote, for the wolf version of Link. It's going to be very useful in these type of situations as well as regular enemies. So as you can see, a field will come out and then whoever's encased into it, he'll just zip back and forth. So it's pretty cool. Very, very unique for sure. So it looks like we have another spring here. Please be careful, those woods have changed. The dark clouds of dusk cover this land. This drape of shadows is called twilight. 
in this twilight, those who live in the light become mere... Sp okay, yeah, so we kind of... Blue-eyed beast, look for my light, retrieve the light. So we're going to take the vessel here. I'm going to kind of skip through that little dialogue a little bit because it's going over some things we already know. So we got to fill these with the tears of light. So we, it, right now it's going to kind of explain. In the shadows of twilight, the dark insects are as invisible as normal beings are here. Let me use the last of my power to reveal the location to the dark insects that consume the light. So as you can see here on the map, there's going to be all these little dots scattered around and that's actually where the lights are um the tears of light are located so find the insects of darkness the dark insects okay blah blah, blah. scatter light bye thank you <laughs> so yes we need to fill up that little vessel of light thing that we have there on the screen now so that's very cool and as you can see we can use that oh we can use this energy field to knock them out pretty quick um and another quality of life change i'm gonna kind of make that a thing and i'll let you know whenever there's a quality of life changes here but um another thing that they changed compared to the other versions of twilight princess is the speed in which you get the tears of light um because they would pop up and then they would take forever to get to the ground and for you to collect them so it's kind of annoying okay so we were on uh, before we head over to the gate and collect the one that you just saw you want to head over to this house first Huh, looks like we can get in there. Sweet. Yeah, because there's actually one located right in this area. It's super easy to miss if you weren't paying attention to the map. Um, as you can see, there's two of them located here. But we have a spirit here. <laughs> what are those things? Those things aren't normal. This is so big, so weird, so creepy. Come on, go away, bug. Shoot, get out of here. Okay, so we got two of them here. And let's just go ahead and... Oh, and missed the one. And, okay, good, 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 good. So we got two of them from here, so. Who, did it just died? Oh boy, I have no idea what's going on around here. Yeah, so that's the one thing, unfortunately, for the people of, uh, of Hyrule is that, especially since they don't even know what's going on, that's must be really freaky for them. Can't imagine just like all these like weird things happening and then just not knowing. <laughs> I would lose my mind. Okay, so as the one you saw over here crawled over there, so we're gonna do the same thing that it did. And then just make sure you grab it while we're here. Don't forget. Thank you, we need seven more to go. So that's, we're making quick work of this. Um, it, it's not, it, I remember when playing this game, it got very tedious for me because it was just kind of like, okay, okay, yeah, 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 whatever. I don't know why. But, um, it's not as bad as I used to think it was. Because I remember it I, it just felt like a grind. But I think it just might be certain areas of the game. I'll, I'll, I'll kind of go in more detail whenever we get there. But, for now, it's not bad. So we got further into Farron Woods. It's clouded by a purple haze. So you want to be very careful here. Yeah. So there's one here. Thank you. Um, instead of... Okay, so the thing about this area is that... Okay, so it's even more dangerous than the last. And try looking ahead without... Okay, whatever. Bye. Um, the thing about this area is you do you want to avoid that purple fog. Because it will knock you back to where you last jump into... Or where you last were on normal areas. So... Hey, I think we can get across from over here. So yeah, I'm just going to do this jumping technique that we did from Hyrule Castle. And then just... To get over the fog and everything so very easy um except this time it's gonna have a little bit of like uh timing to it and then you also want to be very careful who you target because if you target one of those bats you will actually fall in and the cool thing is you can actually use this to attack flying enemies too so you don't have to wait for it to land so quick little tip so that way you don't have to waste a lot of time just waiting for it to land and then you also have to time your jumps because those Deku Babas and everything, or yeah, those Deku Babas can actually hit you and knock you off and you have to start over again. <laughs> so we don't want that. Super easy. She guides you through the whole thing. Um, I actually really like this for some reason. Just can you imagine a wolf jumping around like this? <laughs> okay. 
so that's another thing too that they can actually be hidden underground as well oh. is there another one still underground okay get over here don't delay the inevitable and here we go oh i missed the one actually over here okay so after this we will need two more to go so as you can kind of see they're like just showing you the entire area covered in twilight and then you're just gonna have to you know rescue everyone so the tip actually now to handle these uh three guys is to actually just um knock out one by themselves and then just save the last the two for last so that's the way that i usually go about it and it should be the way you do it too <laughs> And then you also, before I forget to leave here, you want to remember this bridge here. It's important for later, and I will make note of it then. But just know that that's here. Okay, so nothing really much for us to do. So let's just go ahead and head to the last little bit of area over here. Ooh, I wonder who the spirit is. Hey, it's a monkey. Oh my god. Literally, like, in my practice run, it worked perfectly for me to do this little technique here. But it never... <laughs> it never worked now. Sadly. Is it someone... Is it someone help me? <sighs> Boy, lucky for me. Ever since the boss went funny in the head, they've been... There've been scary monsters everywhere. Those village kids got led through the village, the, through the woods for some reason. The whole forest is so weird now. What's happened? Okay, so let's collect the last one. And the cool thing is it's just going to teleport us to the spring that we need to be at. So that way we don't have to walk all the way back. The vessel of light is full of tears and the light has returned to this area. I wonder who said that. Aw, but it's so nice here in the twilight. What's so great about the world of light anyway? <laughs> See you later. My name is Pharaoh. I am the one of the spirits of light who dwell in Hyrule. By the order of the gods, I protect the forest. O oh, brave youth. In the land covered in twilight where people roam as spirits, you were transformed into a blue-eyed beast. That was a sign. It was a sign that the powers of the Chosen One rest within you, and that they, they are awakening. Look at your awakened form. Yeah, you know, you were just naked and we just put some clothes on you. Basically how that goes. <laughs> the green tunic that is your garb once belonged to the ancient hero chosen by the gods. His power is yours. His is the true power that slept within you. Your name is Link. You are the chosen, the hero chosen by the gods. Brave Link. A dark power rests in the temple deep within these woods. It is a forbidden power, long, long ago, I and the other spirits of light locked away. Because of its nature, it is a power that should never be touched by anyone who dwell in the light. But this world weeps beneath the mantle of shadows, so there is no choice. You must match the power of the King of Shadows. If you would seek this forbidden power, 
then proceed to the temple in the forest depths. Well, well, you're the chosen hero and all and all that, huh? So that's why you turned into that beast. What a shame. I mean, maybe you'd rather just wander as a spirit like the rest of them. Totally unaware of what was happening over all eternity, right? <laughs> so, what do you want to do? Do you want to head to the temple? Well, isn't that convenient? I was about to head there myself. Hey, look, you want you want to help your friends, right? The way I see it, maybe they're in that temple waiting for you to rescue them. Well, good luck, Mr. Important Hero. <laughs> See you later. Alrighty, and with that, guys, we made it back to our human form. And we can actually swing the sword and everything again. Hooray! We're not a beast anymore. But um, with that, I would like to call the episode quits here. So that way we can go ahead and prepare for the temple. As we're going to have to go back through the woods and everything again as a human. So, with that being said, I want to thank you all so much for watching. And in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and head through Farron Woods to see if we can get to the temple. To see if we could just take on the temple. <laughs> so with that being said, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys then.